Okay, last video, folks. A lot of clicking, but it's such a dramatic discovery now. Remember, this is Earth right here, and Ace and B. These are our Soho Sechi satellites that we know of there, and we have our other satellites, okay? Spitzer, but so on, Kepler, you know. Okay, but no matter what, remember, they're the same distance as Earth from the Sun. They're one IU. They always stay in their Y, you see, in their orbit. We stay in a Y orbit, okay? Earth is always like this, positioned targeted just like looking through a rifle scope it's always sitting there like that ace is always an all you away and b is always an all you away from the sun dramatic absolute find here's venus venus is very close to the camera here's our zoom in shot and if you watch the last video we're going to zoom in on this right here okay i'm going to go in and we're going to go to 200 to begin with so you can see that we're going to go in on here and it matches up with what we're seeing in antarctica and what I'm going to show you is we're going to get into 9.99 on this, and what we're going to end up giving you an actual factual. There's the sun, and there is what we have that is absolutely in front of the sun. We're at Neomar. There's Atka Bay, Deepalau. Okay, and there's your time. Okay, and it was, it was also on the stamp over here in the corner. Okay, and then we'll go up back up to our navy shot. Okay, that we were at a second ago. Now the most important thing is, is we were able to get a nice filter from uh, Mother Nature and we got this. Now what I'm going to do is pull up the magnifier and zoom in and show you what we got there. And yep, no one's playing with you. Bean will never play you. always give you a raw factual data. And we're going to glue in a little bit more. A little bit to the right. There's your stars. Through our atmosphere, remember this is down on Earth in Antarctica in front of the sun. Okay. Then what we'll do is we will completely get out of the magnifier. Can't help the clicking. I had to to show you this actual fact. I don't have my headphones right now. I don't have them back. So now let's get to the, the size of the shot, the time. Straight there to 150. There you go. 540. Okay. A little later, we end up getting it over here at at our time down here because it's in the more southern sky. Actually, it's more in the north sky because it's going up towards, you know, it's going north because this is the very bottom of the earth, okay? So, then we take a magnifier or on the nearest space, we'll go 999. Versus pumping the 400, we'll get ourselves up in our corner, up underneath the sun. And then I'm going to give you a comparison of size. And you know that that's the sun up there. And then there's our star cluster. And we'll get that by popping over here. Get 999. Scooting over. And then we'll pull the magnifier out on it. We'll get up into the corner so you realize there's the sun up there. Okay. And then we'll pull the magnifier out. Basically, this is the cluster of stars that's down by the black. And basically, there's a good possibility that these are planets. Okay, and not stars. Actually, planets. About a quarter IU from the sun. Okay, planets. A quarter IU from the sun. Might be cool enough for... Let's put it this way. We would have the human capabilities to be able to be a quarter, possibly from a quarter IU if we do enough scientific maneuvering with insulation that if these are planetoids that have any kind of, it doesn't matter, we can bring water from, that's right, we can grow water. Mm -hmm. We can grow water in space, we know we can. Okay, we can grow water in space. The physics has proved it. Okay, they're going to end up making water for the they're actually working on designing a water maker from the outside condensation off the spaceships in space, okay? So we get out of our shot here. And yeah, it gets to be kind of noisy. But for right now, it's just a scientific fact that we are at Palau at that shot, and that's what we've got. And then the planetoid mist comes from, because we're going to go over to the size, okay? Now remember, Earth, I'm going to compare Earth to the Sun, okay? And remember, the cameras are all you away, the same distance as Earth. So factual, when you were looking at that shot, okay, 
there's Venus recently, but it's close to the camera, okay? It's close to the Earth, too, also. Okay, sun's way out there. It's huge. We're going to give you the size. When we get zoomed in here, we are at the sun from, that's probably a good, maybe a little bit under a quarter IU distance, but no matter what we've seen it pull out a minute ago, is a quarter distance. It could be, I could be wrong on it being exactly that, but if it's any of this other, then it's basically, no matter factual with your eyes looking, that's probably just, it might even just be a half IU up there between the sun and that that we zoomed in on, okay? And the reason I'm saying they're planning this is go to the last video and also have time probably to come back here to uh, and blow in on this and you're gonna see a dark, a darker one would be have to be more than likely a planet. And remember luminosity, okay? And we get this from the navy shot, okay? And then we're gonna go to the we're gonna go to size. And if they're hyperbolic stars and not planets, then this is what we're getting this from, okay? And this is recent. And remember the distance, and then we'll go to the size here of the sun compared to Earth. Now here's your sun earth comparison, and then we'll go back and I'll be showing you that there's a good possibility that one of those up there is a planet or some sort of it's it's bigger or the same size as earth remember this is magnified five times okay five times it's magnified okay earth is magnified five times just to have it show up here in comparison to the sun okay there's all your data okay and we love wolfie okay Sharing and educating, okay. Thanks, Wolfie. And here we go. And then let's go take a look at our, like we're looking at and zooming in on, okay. And you're going to end up seeing, now there's great possibilities at all this year, but we know that this is in front of the sun, okay. That's right, rotating around in front of the sun, okay. And the sun rotates, okay. So now we're going to blow in on this. I'm going to get back in. And if you watched the last video, I tried to put less clicks into this one, but this is all scientific factual actual that's in front of the sun okay now watch we're going to get up to 999 and i do this all in front of you so you know that we're, that's what we're zipping in on and what we're going to do is we're going to get into this that we know it's in front of the sun okay same perillion inline alignment of these here and we're going to blow in when we go in with the zoom you're not going to be able to see with my pointer pointing we're going to be looking at this here and here and maybe over here a little bit in this these here showed in the last one just but this is an astounding find because there's a good possibility that this is what we're seeing at palau that's good probably maybe a quarter all you away then we try to start thinking about temperatures that far away i would think that we could be able to insulate ourselves enough from the sun it's always been go get away from the sun, get away from the sun, and that's somewhat correct. But the sun is going to keep dying out, okay, billions of years from now? Correct. And that means eventually, and as I come down here, we're going to come in on our one that was dark to the right, and this is still in front of. Now I'm going to put the wood handle over by it. I can point with the wood handle. We're going to go to that star there, which basically looks like a planet. And remember, these could be planets, and if not, then this is what we're getting the dirty 30s from all the time. Every 88 years or so, we get this alignment of these star clusters, if they're not planets, between us and the sun. And then you go back to the comparison I was showing you of Earth to the sun, and more than likely these are bigger. Okay, so let me just go over to the sun here real fast. Remember how huge the sun is, you see? This stuff is bigger than the sun. Now, there is the famous remnant I've been showed in the past that has a a total when we've been able to see in the past would be like a it used to always look like a chicken thigh out here okay somewhat like this now has something dramatically changed up by the sun has there been some kind of a, a atomic explosion of some sorts that's changed this because basically this is a great view of it right there that looks to be a planet and these all kind of some because they're putting off a dark shadow on their backside remember they put off the same size shadow as the planetoid object they are in space okay so now we're going to get this centered and we're going to keep on zooming in because we're looking at all this stuff and i can point with the handle that the shadows are the same size as the planetoid objects okay so there's planets between us and the sun and 
we'll just keep zipping in on this one here that's pretty dim looking, but it shows its shadow there. And we can use the handle, and you see the shadow of the size of it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come out of this, and we're going to get you a size-wise. Sorry about the clicks. Somewhat sorry. So, this stuff is between, and the actual factual, we can zoom in right there, again, real fast. I can just go to 400 and go over there. That's the sun up there. And these more than likely are planets between the sun and Earth. Okay? And we'll just basically pull the, we can just pull the zoom out, the magnifier here on this. And move over towards the sun. And I'll go up because you know it's the sun. It's real bright there. And then we'll come down and there you go. And we'll keep on try to space the clicks out a little bit and they're basically planets more than likely more than likely not stars planets because they have their shadows as you can see with the handle you see the darkness on the outside okay they have their shadows now don't let it, somebody try playing psychosis with you it's too damn hot up there you need to figure for any form of life form okay absolutely pulling anybody of that out of the nature of been playing any psyop games with anybody but no matter what this is an astounding scientific find because we're getting good shots being down there and observing from uh and i've got to find this again here because i've got to it's, it, it's hard when you zoom in you should be able to hopefully let me back over and try to get down down at an angle am i going to find them no, I'll totally go back out again. Get zoom in on. There we gotta get. Now I gotta go slowly back up, and you'll understand what I'm saying about the shadows and the star. It's not basically very highly likely that these are planetoid objects, but which are possibly damn well close to the same size as Earth. They're just within about a quarter IU, but then basically when you're looking from this, just eyesight wise, okay. But that sure the heck looks like it's probably a half of you away. And there's always many times that when we're looking at these shots that there is plenty of stuff that's, you know, we, this, we're already looking at this stuff. Remember, the cam the solo the camera on the satellite is an awe you away. We could be seeing something like this between us. And basically, I can blow in on that real fast. I can even go 999 on that stuff. Boom. So... With the shadows, it's pretty damn honest that the idea that there's tons of stuff that maybe does not have a luminosity between us. And there you go. But now, no matter what, we get that this is in front of the sun. Okay? So when we're, you can see that stuff, and you're seeing it at the South Pole, i.e. we're showing you right there that it's there. Let me zoom up to this. Shadows. I say they're planets. And then what we're going to do is positively, we're just going to zoom in as much as we can here. These are planets. They're putting off the same shadow the size that they are. Star's not going to put a shadow off. These are planets. This is on Earth, folks. Okay? We're shooting from Earth, looking up. And basically, we'll pop down on the size of the shot all the way down to 125, and that's that right there. Those are planets. Goddamn planets. So then there's stars. Make up your mind, ladies and gentlemen. You see it with your bare eyes. I'm showing the actual fact of that. Earth is times five times on size right there. Those are flipping planets. I want to thank the Navy for this beautiful shot. And all the scientists down at uh, Niedermeyer Station. And then we were zoomed in on that there. Pop into 400. Real fast so you realize that. And we're zoomed in on that. And then with this darkness that we get here that we've always gotten in front of the sun. Now it's pretty much damn rock solid that this is planets. Once again, we'll zoom in, we'll customize. I'll get 999. We'll scoot over. We'll get the magnifier out. And you're going to see that there's planets. The sun has always blocked us. Now we can, with being modern day technology, being able to be down there at the South Pole, being able to get these shots and then match it up with the Soho. And looking at the distance between the IU that this that those cameras are out there, and then being able to see also that reconfirms and basically NASA can't cover. Nobody can cover anymore on that. Since downing finding you, my.
planets between us and the sun. The shadows confirm.